Truncating data. So far, we have learned how to insert, update, and delete data from our tables. There's also another way to remove data from a table. You can use the truncate statement to remove data from a table. It removes all data from a table, similar to a delete without a WHERE clause. So why would you want to use truncate? It deletes all records, which might be what you need to do. Truncate also does not allow you to roll back. It's instantly committed, and therefore it is often faster on large tables. So the short answer is it's faster, if you want to delete all data in your table. Let's take a look at an example of the truncate statement. Let's say we have our customer order table here. And let's say for some reason, we need to delete all the data in this table. Instead of running a delete statement, we'll run a truncate. Truncate table customer underscore order. It's a simple statement and there are no extra parameters needed. Let's run this statement. It will say table customer order truncated. Now let's select from our customer order table. There is no data here. If we want to roll back our truncate statement, we can try do that. We've written our rollback command and we run the command. Now let's select from our customer order table again. There's nothing there. This is because Truncate automatically saves what it does by committing it. So it can be a dangerous query, but it's helpful if it's what you want. So that's how you use the Truncate statement. Next, we'll be looking at creating, altering and deleting tables.